Let's deploy a Craft CMS website. You can see here we have Happy Logger, which is a demo site provided by Craft CMS, and you can see the repo on GitHub. I already have a server provision, and I'm going to click into it and then create a new site. And the site type that we'll need for Craft CMS is PHP. And I'm going to use a free cleaver domain for this example. And what we'll need to do is expand advanced options for a web directory. We'll put in web. And we're also going to want to create a database as well. Let's go ahead and keep MySQL 8.0 for the database name. Let's call it Happy Logger. And let's make sure it doesn't autocorrect with that space there. All right. And then for a user, admin. And for password, password. And we'll keep PHP version 8.0. Let's add the site. Now that it's added to the server, let's click on set up and deploy. And we'll make a couple configurations. The first one is to tie it to the version control provider. This demo example is on GitHub, so I'm going to choose a GitHub provider. And the repository is under Craft CMSs, uh, which is Craft CMS, and then Happy Dash Logger. And that was 1G, not 2. Okay. And then for a branch to deploy, it's under main and let's update this there's a couple other things for us to do before the site is really going to render but one thing that we should do right away is go to deployment hooks and we see install composer dependencies this is disabled by default let's go ahead and click on the ellipses and enable this and right now let's go ahead and deploy this out real quick it's not going to actually work but i want the code to go from the repo and be placed onto the server because there's a couple other things that we'll need to be doing. Uh, one is a MySQL database. So within the code repository, they have a SQL dump that we'll use, as well as we need the code installed so we could run a command to get a key. Let's go to the environment tab right now. And in the craft CMS repository, they gave us an example.env file. So I'm gonna paste the contents of that into this window here. Okay, I've already added a couple of things around database uh, for the database name happy logger user admin password password there's a couple other things that we should fill out app id i'm just going to put some gibberish in there and we're going to need to get the security key and i have a quick command set up to get us a security key and we're also going to want to migrate the database which i've created another quick command to do that before we go to the quick commands there's one more thing that we need to update which is the base site url in order for the site to fully render, we'll need to add that in. And this is actually the URL right here. So I'm just going to copy that and then paste it right there after the HTTPS forward slash forward slash and then sync that. Okay, let's go to the quick command section and run these two commands. How about we start with the craft security key? And if I show you what that looks like, it's this command right here, PHP craft setup security key. And let's go ahead and run that. When it's done, if we look in the last run, we'll see the output right here. So this is the security key starting with eight. It should automatically go into the environment area. So let's look in the ENV section. And here we go. We see the security key was automatically added. All right, that's awesome. Let's go back to the quick commands and let's do the database import. And for that command, we can see right here, MySQL user and then the username, password and then the password and then the database name, and then the data dump that we're gonna import into it. If you know command line, it's gonna probably give us a warning that it doesn't like passwords going through command line. Uh, but let's go ahead and run this anyways. Sure enough, it doesn't like us uh, putting the password in. We could see that here, but rest assured, it's actually imported the database, so we should be good to go on that part. Okay, let's go back to the deployments area and deploy this real quick one more time and everything should be set up how it needs to be so we should expect it to render after this deployment okay it looks like everything deployed out and everything completed successfully and we're seeing some ping times come in and a 200 status code all right it's making me feel good so let's go ahead and visit the site and then all right we see it here